Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show. Wake up to love your call to action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Welcome, everyone, to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. I have got an exciting show for you planned today. We are here to talk about nailing your message and getting booked with my very special guest, Jackie Cote. Stop being the best kept secret. Get featured on national television outlets like ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, or even Oprah's own. Jackie Cote is a publicity and media strategist who helps soul-centered entrepreneurs get covered by major media and featured globally to inspire the world. After spending more than 10 years working in the media as a TV reporter, producer, and spokeswoman, she started her own company so that she could have the flexibility to be a great wife, a great mother for her two children. Her goal is to help change the narrative in the media so that more transformational stories can get featured. Welcome to the show, Jackie Cote. Hey, I am so excited to be here. Thank you so much, Cornelia, for having me. It's such an honor to to work with you because I'm also one of your clients. And so it's fantastic to be part of this collaborative co-creation together. And I am seeing behind the scenes how well you and your team, you know, feature people and, and, and get, their, get their messages out into the world. And because you're also, like you said, uh, changing the narrative. You're changing the narrative of how media is done. And so give us a little story about your background and how you got started, you know, with, with, your, with your mission, with your vision, with your company. Yeah, so it's been about 15 minutes, uh, 15 years ago this year since I first decided that I wanted to be a journalist. And I still remember the day sitting at ABC's Washington Bureau and I was working as a producer and that was behind the scenes. And I would see all of these great people getting featured and on TV. And I knew within myself that I had a vision and a dream to be the one telling the stories and sharing about the world and, you know, going here and going there on TV assignments. And yet I was still so far away from that. So it really took me first starting to look at how I was showing up in the world, what my thoughts were projecting and things like that before I ever got my big break. And my big break came in the, in the, in the form of a phone call, like out of the blue one day, my girlfriend calls me and she's like, Jackie, I talked to this news director and he wants to meet you. And really within 30 days, I went from working behind the scenes at ABC's Washington Bureau to being an on-air TV reporter. And I thought my dreams had come true. I was excited. (laughs) I'm like, man, this manifestation stuff really works. And uh, believe it or not, I, I spent two years years doing that. But what I really quickly started to see was that there was a lot of doom and gloom about that. There was a lot of stories that really just made me not feel well because it was a lot of pain and drama and and just things that were not great about the world. And so around that time, I decided to start my own company. My company failed. I didn't know anything about running a business. I didn't know how to package myself. I didn't know how to price myself. I really just wanted to do good. And I would do a lot of things for free or bartering and all of that. And so I went back to work. I went back to work working for Fire and Rescue. And while I was there, I basically ran an entire media relations division and started around that time, especially as I started to have kids again, I started to think, wow, I really want the flexibility. And so it was around that time that I created my company, um, More Good Media. And that's what I do now is I basically left the, the job this time around smarter and um, started my own media relations company where we help 
entrepreneurs and thought leaders get featured in the media. We show them how to navigate the media landscape and really how to use publicity to grow their businesses. And so that's the, the short version of the story. And it's it's just been such a big joy to see people like, you know, you and others who just have incredible messages really open up to how you're being seen in the world and the ways that you're sharing your message um, in ways that really make a difference for people. And that's really our vision is that, especially through television, that we can get more positive stories featured so that people can turn on the news one day and see the good of humanity and not just the doom and gloom. Right. We do need we do need more of the good news media, the good mm-hmm. news media. Right. So that I'm so glad that you, that you are changing the narrative and, and helping entrepreneurs get their get their um, messages out to be seen on television. I just spoke with someone last week that told me that they were uh, on Good Morning America. They saw there was a sound healer and they had the crystal bowls and sound healing on good morning America. And I said, hallelujah. Yay. You know, yes. this is a wonderful, wonderful way. Good morning America. This is great that this is happening. So I'm so glad that you, um, that you ended up listening to yourself and then starting your own company again, after you left fire and rescue would, do you believe that, being at Fire and Rescue and running that media division, that was the missing piece that you needed in order to run that business and run that piece in order to get you really started and get you successful in your own business launch? Yeah, absolutely. I I don't believe that there are any accidents. And I was just sharing about this on my Facebook Live today. You know, there have been so many dreams that I've had that have taken non-traditional paths. And me being able to start my own company, that was always a dream of mine. I'd grown up up seeing my grandfather as an entrepreneur. And so I saw that very early on. Um, But I I think that if I hadn't went back and worked for Fire and Rescue, there were so many things about the strategy and about the process that I was missing that I really got to best practice there. There were also other forms of communication and media that we really built out. And so often when people hire me, it's not not just a traditional PR firm or publicist that's going to go and get you featured. I really focus a lot on the business strategy. I focus a lot on the marketing strategy because I believe that you can't do great PR and great publicity without that process and that structure. And so that came from my time at Fire and Rescue. I mean, we won awards there because of our work in social media and our work in crisis communications. And that only came from me building it from the ground up. When I first started there, I was the only person. It was a new position, a new division. And when I left, we had about 10 people collectively that were working in that division. And I think often entrepreneurs who think about PR and publicity, they think, oh, let me go hire a publicist and that's it, where you really want to be thinking about how are you doing publicity holistically in your company. And so for me, a lot of that came from what I learned in that position. And a lot of it, I, I you know, at the time I didn't love it, Cornelia, there were times that I was like, why am I still working here? I remember when I first went to go ask for a raise, it was like my first year there. And I thought, oh man, like surely they're going to give me a raise. I've worked hard. I put my time in. And they were like, you, we don't do raises in government. Like we just do step increases and your step increase is like everybody else who has the same credential, you know, uh, and I just was so heartbroken because I felt like I had worked hard and done everything I needed to do and everything. And it, it, it wasn't an increase. And I think I say all that to say that there were a lot of moments there that were challenging, that were like cry on the floor moments where I was heartbroken. Um, But it also really helped build my character. It made me resilient and it really birthed what I have now, which is a company that's just really dedicated to what the work that we do. Yeah, and I just want to uh, celebrate uh, one of our one of our people this morning was just featured this morning. I don't I what the news station is, but it was Nina Sky, who I also had on the Living Heaven on Earth radio show, and um, she got featured. And she they did a two part segment for her. It was three a three minute segment, and then they also did a Facebook live segment 
and that is you know featured in her and her work what she's mm-hmm. doing and she came through your program so yeah. tell us a little bit about how uh people can find out about you jackie where 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 they can get your information your mm-hmm. website information and how they can find out more Yeah, so we often want to work with people who know that they're soul driven and that they have a big vision. And it's interesting, Cornelia, because often we work with people that don't fit the norm or they're pioneers or they're industry disruptors or they're doing something that people don't know about. And so if they go to moregoodmedia.com, they can pull up our information and it has one of our most popular free gifts, which helps you learn how to get featured on TV. Mm -hmm. And so um, is that is that the only place moregoodmedia.com? That's, that's the there. best place to go, um, you know, because that's really the gateway to a lot of the other things that we offer. Um, we do have a free gift, I think, that we're, um, you know, giving away for those viewers that are on uh, listening to the show and those who are listening um, to the audio. And that's our quick start template to getting on national TV. And that's right there on that on that page. Yeah. Uh, because the quick start template is going to really help people discover if this is for them, right? If they, if they can, if they can really, uh, bring, bring, if they're, this is the sole entrepreneur message for them, this can help them do that. Is that right? The quick start guide? Yes. The quick start template takes them through one of our most popular pitches, which is a plug and play, meaning that you could copy it put in your stuff and hit send. And it's a really, it's a start to help you understand who are the producers, what to say, what, what, what are they interested in? Many of the questions that we used to get from people, we put it in this quick start so that you can go through for free and see the process and even use the template there. And we've had people had success just from using that template. And they can use that in other areas of their life as well, because I discovered that working with you all where where else this can fit because yeah. really it's about building relationships isn't it yeah it's so often people think that the media i typically say that people either think they're like god or they think they're evil like satan or something and i'm like they're neither they're people just like you and i and if you can think about the fact that that producer on the other end of the, the email or phone line or that reporter or that tv anchor they've got family they've got things that keep them up at night they've got things that bring them joy they've got things that they love to do and if you can connect with them there and start with the connection so much would open up for you in terms of having great relationships in the media. Media. Yeah, and so many of us who are now beginning uh, that relationship building, we are positioning ourselves so that we can have an ongoing media presence and that we can be the go-to source for when stories develop out in the media that you can come and you can bring your expertise to whatever uh, the situation is, right? And that's really where we can uh, influence and, and you know, impact uh, humanity on a on a larger scale that we normally wouldn't be able to do so. So thank you so much for, for sharing this with us. We're going to take a break on the Cornelia Stephanie show. We'll be right back with Jackie Cote. Did you know that all of the shows on the Transformation Radio Network are available as podcasts to stream or download? Really? Check us out. Go to TransformationRadio.fm. We have business shows, spiritual shows, energy healing shows, and pretty much everything in between. Something for everyone guaranteed to inspire, educate, and transform. We are transforming the world one listener at a time. Are you done being afraid to jump into the life that's waiting for you? Are you ready for a real shift? I invite you to tune in every Tuesday with me, Tracy L, on the Tracy L. Clark Show, where we will teach you how to live your extraordinary life. At 8 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio, where I will provide the tools and the steps needed to help you transcend perceived limitations and move forward with an extraordinary life. For more information, visit me at TracyLClark.com. Ignite your inner magic on Grow Your Soul Radio with Jane Matanga. 
Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as host Jane Matanga explores how to overcome your fears to help you gain the inspiration you need to awaken your path to joy. Learn the way to life mastery and the enlightened path with Grow Your Soul Radio. For more information on Jane Matanga and her work, visit enlightened-path.com. Stuck in a roundabout of dysfunction? Learn how to speak your truth to power with host Dr. Kathy O'Bear. Create real change with smart tools and smart strategies. No frills, no fluff, just life-changing conversations to help get you where you want to be. Extend your reach and become an agent for real change with Kathy O'Bear. For more information on Kathy and her work, please visit drkathyobear.com. That's drkathyobear.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Golden Otter Divinations Radio, where the metaphysical meets the mainstream with Autumn Seibel. Tune in the first Friday every month at 9 a.m. Pacific as Autumn, educator, health coach, and medium, explores metaphysical and mainstream strategies on how to elevate your level of conscious living. Draw in the abundance that is yours by divine right. For more information about working with Autumn, visit goldenotter.us. That's golden like the precious metal and otter like the precious animal dot us. Welcome back to the Cornelia Stephanie show. I'm speaking with Jackie Cote and we're talking about becoming nationally known with your message. Jackie, tell us about why it's so important to be seen and heard in the media today. Yeah, so I think that most people that are listening to this or watching this, you are the light. You are the people that are out there. If you follow Cornelia, I know her tribe. I know her community. You're people that want to see better. You want to see good in the world. But the average American is not like that. You know, the average American is dealing with everyday problems, everyday challenges. They're not as enlightened as you might be. And so I think it's imperative for change makers, people that are doing incredible things in the world to go back and make sure that they are leading the way for others to follow. And so when I look at like, how do we change things? How do we create more hope? How do we make the world a better place? It takes people going into major media and being the light. And so the average American is looking at my, like my mom, for example, she comes to our house sometimes now and babysits my kids and she's a great woman. She's amazing, but she will turn on the five o'clock news and it's like, I'll come downstairs and I'm like, mom, please turn that off because <laughs> it's this crime, that crime, this shooting, this teenager that got arrested and all of that. And so we want to be able to turn on the news and see possibility. Doesn't mean that it's all going to be great stories. It might be how-to stories. It might be stories of someone who's overcome adversity and created a better result. I often think about the Olympics how when the Olympics comes on once every four years or once, you know, depending on if it's the winter or, or summer, it's like everyone across the globe stops and watches it. And all you see is the best of humanity playing out. Even if someone was in a coma two years ago, it's like now you see them competing and being at the top of, of their, their performance. And so I really think that entrepreneurs have a responsibility and thought leaders have a responsibility to go and be seen in major media sources so that others really can see what's possible and can, can grow as we can really grow as a human race. Yeah, and that's, that's exactly the perfect place to be seen and to be heard on television and, and um, spread the good news and spread the, the ways that we make the world a better place. Jackie, why don't you tell us about some of your people that are in, in your group right now, people that you're working with, that you're featuring, or that you have featured. Mm -hmm. Like, give us an example of what some of those people, who some of those people are, like, 
Yeah, absolutely. So what I'll say is that one of the, so that I gave you one reason why people need to be in the media. I could give you tons. I think before I even go through a specific example, it's important that everyone that's listening knows that TV producers are looking for you. And that's another big mindset shift that I think it's important to touch on because often I think people feel like, well, who me? Why me? Or, or like, like it's this, this huge hard thing to have happen. And what I would say is that every TV show that comes on is going to be on again in the future with or without you, like a magazine that goes out every month has to fill its pages. That TV segment has, or that TV show has 30 minutes multiple times a day that they've got to fill. So they're looking for stories. I remember often when I was working as a TV reporter, I had two stories that were due every day. And that was regardless of whether it was a holiday, whether or not it was a snowmageddon out. I remember we had our first snowmageddon and my mom was like, you still have to go to work? (laughs) Like, yes, I do. I have pictures of me, like streets clear, in the snow, looking for a story. And so those stories are happening every day. And it just makes sense that yours would be the one that would be featured, especially because they're already looking. So we've had clients like one of our, one of my favorite clients, Krista O'Leary, she is an interior designer, but she does it from an energy of your space. Like what's the energy? What's the, what's the, what's the color? How does it align with your birthday and all this stuff? very woo-woo, what people might say is woo-woo, you know, but she's an interior designer. And we basically reached out to, we've, we've had her featured in a lot of places. She's been on CW in San Diego. She's been on TV in New Hampshire where she's based. And then um, two years ago, we had her on the Hallmark Channel. And I think that's a big like win, especially for those that are listening, because the Hallmark Channel is a good example of a national media outlet that has positive stories already. They have about 80 million viewers, home and family. And that's a, when you look at their, they do a daily show Monday through through Friday and it's a news show and they're a good, good example of good news. And so when you think about major media, I think often it's important to know that there are custom built audiences out there, meaning the Hallmark Channel, 80 million viewers, parents, families, you know, all of that, they're watching. There are shows that are specifically for doctors or for health professionals, same with magazines and blogs and podcasts. And so you want to be thinking about what, what it is that you're doing and how to get out there. So Krista is a great example of that. We have another client, um, Janine, who she's been in a, a lot of different things, PBS. She's done a TED Talk. She's done local TV. And then um, just a few months ago, like a month and a half ago, she was on Sister Circle in Atlanta and she talked talked about um, what are some of the traumas that women face when it comes to relationships and love. And so again, she shared the trauma, she shared the challenges, but she also shared what women can do to break through and to have the relationships that they want. And so this is kind of what I mean by when I say more good media is that it's not just going on and sharing the doom. Relationships suck. These are the celebrities that broke up. These are the, it's, it's what's the solutions? What's the possibilities? What's, what are ways that people can think outside of what they know to be true to create a different result? And so, I mean, I could go on. I mean, you know, Cornelia, cause you're, you're around. I mean, we get clients featured. I feel like they're almost every day. I see somebody, one of our clients that's on a TV show and even people that um, we partner with, we just often, you know, we'll share info with the media. We just had someone on in Hollywood, like La- Good Morning La La Land. And she's like, I almost, you know, so yeah, it's just, I think it's, it's amazing to be able to leverage those kinds of placements as a way to truly spread your impact, to truly expand your reach and, and um, really help more people. Yeah, I, I, there's just so much that you said, but you know, it's it's all about the mindset, right? It's shifting our mindset to, it's an opportunity for us to have a platform that's available to us mm-hmm. where we can bring our message and where, like you said, the reporters are looking for you. I saw that this morning when I saw Nina being featured with the uh, in where, wherever that was uh, in Baltimore, I think, where where she mm-hmm. lives or Maryland. 
Um, but the, the reporter was so happy that Nina was there and she, she commented several times on how, her energy and, and how good her energy felt and how nice it was that she was around because pe reporters are looking for you. They're looking to report good news because they have to balance it out with some of the, the bad news that's out there, right? It's with, yeah, they have to be able to, to balance it out. So this is a way that we can tip the scales. And I know that when more and more people come out of hiding and come out and, and share their message and have a place to go, that it's really valuable to be seen and to be heard and that your message um, is somebody's answered prayer. Yeah, yeah. I say that often because I think about the people that have helped shape my life and the people that have helped me to grow and be who I am. Often those were answered prayers. Like I would be, I remember when I wanted to start my business the second time around, I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do it. I didn't do it well the first time around. And I remember praying and sure enough, I got an email in my inbox and it was somebody who was sharing a best practice or a training and that shifted things for me. And so I think so often um, we had another client who went on last year for suicide prevention month and it was a mom, this mom, I think sometimes people who are listening are like, well, first I need to get my website done and then I got to do my branding and then I got to do all that. You don't, you've just got to have a vision to serve more people to get featured. And this was a good example with Carrie was that she didn't have a website. She didn't have a lot of fancy branding, she just said, I really want to make an impact. I know that this is what I'm supposed to do. And we got her featured on National Suicide Prevention Month just around her story, her story of feeling what it's like to want to end her life and also pulling herself out of that and designing her dream life. And that's now what she goes and helps other moms to do is help them create their dream life, like what excites them and things like that. And so I say that just because I think all too often people think that you've got to have it all together to get featured on TV. And I would say that if you've got the right intention and if you know that you want to serve at that level, that's often enough. Um, the other thing I'll say is that I like television more than other mediums, not to say other mediums don't have their place. I think it's important that you podcast and you do radio interviews and you do magazine, but, but I like television because I think it gives you more versatility with what you can do with the feature as well as with what are, I think just it translates more to people that you're an expert even more so sometimes than other platforms. So I think it's especially if there are people that have done a bunch of radio already or done a lot of newspapers or done a lot of magazines, I would say television is a good next step for you because it's going to, there are more things you got to think about, you know, even for our interview today, I was like asking my team, I was like, is this video? Okay. That means I need to look cute. You know, like I gotta, I can't just, and I asked again before we, I was like, is this video? Cause you know, it's just other things you've got to be able to communicate at your peak when you're on video versus just radio magazines and some of the other forms. Exactly. Because if you're just doing a podcast where you're just, where you're not being seen, that's a whole different ball game because then you can just kind of walk around and nobody sees you, but doing these podcasts where we're really live all the time. And that's, that was part of my whole uh, purpose for creating this podcast is being seen and being heard because I know how important it is. And I then love that. bumping into you uh, at Dream Big, which was which was a, a divine guidance as well. And so now I too am positioning myself to uh, spread my message and go out there and and be seen and heard on a, on a larger scale. So I'm so excited for what's coming there. Yes. So uh, Jackie, let's tell everybody again before we go to break. Uh, how to get the free gift that you're offering and how they can learn more about you. So I would say that anybody who knows that they want to take their light to the media or knows that they've done other forms or they, they're new, the best way to get started is with our quick start template to getting on national media. And whether you want to get on national media a year from now, two years from now, you want to at least start with 
understanding the process and learning how to navigate and learning what's possible for you. And so if you go to our website, moregoodmedia.com, you will see the template right there. You can just enter your name and email, click, you know, I want access, and that'll really get you A, the template, but also connect it with us so that we can really support you along the process. Perfect. We're going to be right back on the Cornelia Stephanie Show. We'll see you in a few. Has your buzz for life buzzed off? Feeling ignored, invisible, and wondering if this is really all there is? The years go by faster as we gain momentum. You're halfway there. Are you gathering speed or puttering out? Hit your stride for the liberating half of life. Comfortable in your skin? You can do better than that. Tune in to Discovering You Again Radio every fourth Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific as host Susan Axelrod encourages listeners to decide what they want, get inspired to action, and face challenges head on. Host Susan Axelrod pulls no punches, encouraging you to grab the brass ring and soar. For more information about Susan, go to www.whatwillyourlegacybe.com. Learn to live in the light and unveil the authentic you with a time of healing radio with me, Felistiana, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in every third Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific as I help listeners understand sacred fusion energy and how to connect to the spirit that fuels the very life we live. Explore the journey of spiritual transcendence and ultimately discover the path to peace, love, purpose, and wholeness. For more information, visit a timeofhealing.com. Goddess Light Shamanic Healer Brie Gibbs guides us through the ascending worlds, bringing forth knowledge and truth. As a light creator, she is here to provide new information needed at this time in our evolution. Join Brie as she shares messages from guides, spirits, ascended masters, goddesses, and more. Tune in Thursdays at 3 p.m. Pacific for the Dr. Brie Show, The Goddess Emergence, and live the authentic life. Dream on, fly high, and live adventurously on The Laura Meeks Show. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as host Laura Meeks guides you in finding your unique gifts and bringing them to life. As a certified life coach, speaker, and veteran bomber pilot for the U.S. Air Force, Laura knows how to follow a dream. She is ready to support you so you can dream on, fly high, and live adventurously. For more information on Laura and her work, visit flyhighliving.com. People often ask, what does it mean to thrive? On Thrive by Gen Radio, it means body confidence, mind fulfillment, and soul synchronicity. Create synchronicity with God and learn as Jen shares action steps and real stories that will inspire you to be unstoppable in fulfilling your purpose. Tune in live each Monday at 8 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com and visit JenniferZellup.com to thrive with Jen. Super awesome. We're back on the Cornelia Stephanie show talking with Jackie Cote today. And we're talking about being seen, being heard, and making an impact on a global scale. Jackie, tell us about more about how we can create an impact in media relationships, building the media relationships and, and how to get started. Yeah, so I would say that, you know, for everyone who's watching, there's probably about five to 10 media relationships that you need to be building. And I look at relationships with the media as one of the greatest assets that you can have in your business. Because really, when you think about the trajectory of your business, whether you're just getting started or you've been in business for a long time, there are multiple times along the course of your business that you want to get it out there in front of the masses or in front of a bigger audience. And so you don't want to just have like a one-off interaction with the media where it's like, Hey, I've got, I got what I needed. You got what I need. I'll see you never. 
you want to make it so that when you have those big things happen in your company, whether you're writing a book or, you know, you're doing a launch of something or you just won an award or you just gave, we had a client that was featured last year because they partnered with a charity and raised like $60,000. And so these are all different moments in your business that you want to have those five to 10 relationships so that you can tell the media and really share with them the value of it. And so what I would say is that first of all, it starts with looking at the media like everyday people. We started to talk about that. They're moms. They're they're like you and I. They're not, even though they might be on TV every day, and even though some of them might have egos, at the core, they're people just like you and I. And so I would say that first and foremost, you almost want to think about what might be the media places that would for your company or for your business. No matter what kind of business you have, you probably want to pick two or three contacts that are local that are in your geographical area, depending on where you live in the country or in the world. You also want to think about what are some that are in your niche. So there are, you know, we have in our database about 300,000 media contacts, and that's across location, that's across TV, radio, and all of that. And then we also have them by niche. And so even in your niche, if you just Google today, you know, radio stations that cover fill in the blank on your topic or magazines or um, your topic magazines, that's going to start to give you ideas or help you get clearer on what might be some of the places that already cover what you do. So two or three local, two or three that are in your niche. And then I always just for fun, I like to have people pick two or three that are wish list publications that are places that you're like, one day I know I want to be on and fill in the blank what that is for you. And so from there, what I would recommend is, you know, you if you get our quick start template and if you, you know, go through our process, you'll you'll see ways to get the contacts without having to do a bunch of research. Um, however, you're going to need to do research. So I would use a Google Doc or an Excel spreadsheet and just start to list out, okay, so I know, okay, these are the the few that I want to make contact with. I would then spend a good amount of time, at least a week, just seeing what it is that they cover. Mm -hmm. So for every journalist, for every producer, most of them have certain things that they write about or certain things that they cover. And so I would start to see what do they cover? What is it that they're interested in? Look them up on LinkedIn, look them up on Facebook, look, see if they have a business Facebook page, look them up on Twitter and just start to get a sense of what it is that they cover. Because what that's going to do is before you go in with like, please feature me or like, like just asking, like going in to get, it's going to really help you get clear on what they've done and what they're concerned about and all of that. And it's going to make your connection with them a lot better than if it's just about you and about what it is that you do. So after you spend about a week, like just seeing what they cover and all of that, I would then reach out to them. And we have in the quick start template that I've talked about a sample way to reach out where you can fill in the blank. It could be a, I have a story idea email. It could also just be, I wanted to connect. And in it, you could just say, hey, I saw that you cover this and that. I love the article. I love the segment that you did on this. I just wanted to connect. I'm an expert in this field. And I saw that you cover it. So please let me know what kind of stories you you, you're working on next and things like that. And then that's really it. You don't want to reach out and like shove a press release down their mouth, you know, down their throat. You don't want to reach out and say, urgent, come to my event this weekend. It's it's dire. Like you don't want to reach out from that energy. You really want to reach out from the place of connecting with them. And what I found is that sometimes it might take more than one email because they're busy. They do have deadlines. And I think that's important for people to know. But most times you'll find that if you say to them that you're an expert in this or you're, that they're more than likely going to keep you on their short list, especially if you communicate and reach out to them once a quarter, then you'll start to be top of mind. The other thing that I'll, I'll share, Cornelia, is that I think often uh, when like people move to your town that are new reporters, or if you see someone that on TV that you've never seen before, that's a great time 
to reach out. If you see that they've won an award or you see that they're participating in a charity event or whatever the case is, those are all great times for you to reach out and connect because that's a good moment that is just authentic. It's like, hey, I saw that you're new on on the air or I saw that you just won an award. Congratulations. Like those are great connection moments. So that's what I would say. And I, I think in general, people are, they, they, they want the connection. They want to be able to know that, that they're seen and heard just like everyone else. And so if you can connect with reporters like that, you will start to become their go-to source. Um, it's funny because even when I worked in television, I would have, this is back when there were flip phones and those smartphones, but I would have people that I've interviewed once and I would just go back to them because it was easy to work with them. They were flexible. They gave me good sound bites and all of that. And I know we're going to talk more about how to become the go-to source, but that's where I would say start is with the connection. Yeah. And everybody really wants that now. Don't you feel that that is more prevalent now than ever before is people really want connection all over the place because we're so busy. We're so, you know, in, in such a rush, you know, society that nowadays it's just really, really important to connect with each other and, and, and offer presence to each other and, and uh, being seen and being heard, you know, begins with each person bringing that energy to wherever it is that you want to go. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I'm right there with you. I think people underestimate that in the field because they see the person on TV and they think, oh my goodness, like that, that's so-and-so, but really they're real, just like you and I. Yeah. And they, and like you said, they have lives and they have families and they have, you know, they have uh, situations and traumas in their life and they have to show up no matter what, if there's a snowstorm or whatever, like you said earlier, when your mom was saying, what, do you still have to go to work? Yeah, they do. They have to show up. Yeah. I remember uh, last uh, year we had a client that was on ABC in LA and she was a health coach. And during the interview, the the anchor raised her hand and said, I need to hire you. (laughs) And I remember that moment because I think often like you think, that because they're the anchor, they're the, the, the be all expert on everything. But often you might be going in to be interviewed or to be on that show and what you're sharing could be an answered prayer for that producer or that reporter. It could be the thing that changes everything for them. And so that's really important. When I think about the places that I frequent or the places that I spend money at or the products that I buy, Often I'm buying them or I'm visiting the places because of some publicity that I've seen around it. I mean, I'm going to Bali next uh, month in Singapore and Dubai, and everything I've been looking up has been like where to eat in Dubai, you know, where to where to hang out, where to do this. And a lot of the things that I'm seeing are articles that have come up from Anthony Bourdain, God rest his soul, or, you know, CNN or Time Out Magazine and all these places because someone else did the, the interview. And so there's such a massive impact around this simple thing that we've been talking about in this segment, which is the connection. Just that connection opens it up to so many other people being impacted as a result of just you connecting. Yeah. And you never know what's, what's going to come out of it. It's like you said, if you go in with the idea and the intention to offer something rather than, you know, getting something back or coming at it from a needy place that you're coming there to bring a great message to, to, to share something rather than what you can get out of it. That is also a big mindset shift, wouldn't you say? Yeah, absolutely. That that makes such a big difference for sure. And I think when we talk about being a sought after expert, that's one of the biggest mindset shifts is that you want to, from the time that they call you, you want to be coming from a place of service. I can't tell you how many people, when I was a reporter that we would call and they'd say, no, I can't, I can't do it. And that just makes it so that we never want to reach back out to them again, you know, and it's not fair, but it's often what happens. If you can't troubleshoot doing the interview, it's, it's almost like it's not going to be a yes, 
next time around when you want to be featured. And I hate to say that, but that's often what happens. If it's difficult to work with you and all of that, it's just, it makes it very difficult for you to be sought after. So the more you can be flexible, the more that you can be from a place of service, the better. And I mean, you are offering the solution. So being the solution to a problem that the producer, the person might is, is looking for, right? To find the solution that you can bring. And uh, so that's also a part of it. Yeah. Okay. We're going to take a quick break on the Cornelia Stephanie show and we'll be back with Jackie Cote and we'll talk some more. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show, talk radio to thrive by. I am so thrilled to be talking to all of you. We have got talk radio for all of us. Are you ready and willing and able to accept all of the abundance you can muster up in your life? Yeah. Check us out at drpatshow.com, transformationtalkradio.com, transformationradio.fm. Oh my goodness. Learn and explore fascinating and practical uses of essential oils, how to use them, and how they can enhance your everyday life. The Oil Lounge was founded by three remarkable women with fascinating stories about how essential oils changed their lives. Tina and Laura from The Karmic Path have joined forces to educate the masses in the benefits of young living essential oils. For more information, visit theoillounge.com. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. To find answers to life's questions, you need to look within yourself. Dr. Glenna Rice brings your questionable conversations on Transformation Talk Radio each month. Tune in each month for insight into how you can live up to your full potential. Dr. Glenna is a physical therapist, certified access consciousness, and access body class facilitator. How does it get any better than this? For more information on Dr. Glenna Rice and her work, visit GlennaRice.com. Are you feeling stuck in unhealthy habits, toxic relationships, or low self-esteem? Do you crave a healthy relationship filled with inspiration? You might just be on the verge, on the verge of attracting your soulmate. Tune in each month to The Laura Richer Show, where dating coach Laura Richer and co-host matchmaker Peggy Bennett share tools for using your dating breakdown for a relationship breakthrough. For more information, visit richerhealinghypnosis.com. Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. We have an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in weekly every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio as we, Jason and Patricia, discuss what's truly holding you back. We offer you the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time be living lighter. For more information about Living Lighter, visit www.livinglighter.org. We are back on the Cornelia Stephanie show and I'm with Jackie Cote. We were talking in the break about how to create a compelling TV segment. Jackie, you're going to give us the steps and how to break that down. And what does that mean exactly? Yeah. So I think this is like the secret. So as you guys are getting to the end of this interview, lean in because we're about to share <laughs> yeah. the secrets. I think so often people come up to me, Cornelia, and they're like, I want to be on Ellen. I want to be on Steve Harvey. I want to be on Good Morning America or the Today Show. And often they think just by sending a press release that with their book info, that that's enough. And what I would say is that what you really want to do is create a segment idea. So as you're listening, I would write that down, a segment idea. And ideally, that idea should be something that works well for TV, that's visual, that maybe you've seen segment ideas like this 
come out before because what producers don't want to do, I mean, unless you're the president of the United States or you're the little girl who just saves somebody, like unless you're one of those stories that everyone wants in on, you want to make sure that what you're sending over is something that makes them so excited that they're like, yes. And so one way to do that is by creating a segment idea. If you were to watch the morning news just for a week, like I would almost say for all of you that want to get on TV, this is a good assignment to do, is to turn on your local morning news or turn on the Today Show or whatever show you watch in the morning and just see, you'll start to see that they have segments. So they'll do a health segment or a segment on relationships or a segment on parenting or a segment on what to try this season or whatever the case is. And they're pocket, they're bite-sized. They're about five minutes or less. Sometimes they'll be 10 minutes if they do two different ones. And it typically follows a, a format that the viewer can consume easily. And so what you want to do is instead of reaching out to the media and saying, read my press release or read about my book and and come come feature me, you want to basically reach out to them and say, I have a segment idea for you. And that's already getting you to speak their language so that they are getting that you get them, that you get how they work, how they operate. And so for your segment ideas, one of the easiest ways, so, so then you may be asking like, what's the segment or how do I come up with it? One of the easiest ways is to look and see what have been some past segments in your niche. So if you go to Google and you type in whatever your niche is, health or empowerment or finances or women's issues or uh, relationships or whatever the, the keyword is, you can then click on the news tab. So you'll get all the Google results and you want to click on the news tab and just see what have some past TV, especially because you'll get all the news ones, but just look and see what have been some of the past TV clips that have been done on in your niche. And that'll start to get the ideas turning around what might make for a good segment that the news would care about. It's often in the way that you write about it. It's in the way that you make it digestible. It's in the way that you uh, position it that, that is the best at actually having reporters say yes to it. So it's just a simple process, pretty much just starting to Google and finding out what um, what the media is talking about mm-hmm. so that you can really look and see if this is something that, that you can speak about also, right? And then yeah. making the connection. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think that's in general what I think everyone who's watching wants to be thinking about and starting to do is to see what the media is talking about. Like you just said, Cornelia, see what the media is talking about in your niche. That's going to get you better at getting on TV. It's also going to get you better in all of your marketing and all of what you're putting out, whether it's a Facebook Live or it's an email, whatever the case is. If you can see what the media is talking about, even the way they format stuff. I mean, let me tell you, I I didn't go to school for marketing. I didn't get a marketing degree, but I'm really good at my marketing because I spent four years in a newsroom. And so titles that make you want to stay after the commercial break, you know, that keep you glued in watching or, you know, how you're about to turn off the TV, but they're like coming up next. And (laughs) it's like things like that. They are so good at it. And so they have to be, they have to sell advertisements. They have to have viewers and good ratings. And so if you can just pay more attention to what it is that they do, to get people to pay attention to them and just model it. It doesn't mean that if they say three, you know, crash, you need to do that. You might say three ways to, and then use like, so you want to play around with it, but that's where you want to start. And I think even if you have no aspiration, if you've heard me talking all this time, you're like, Jackie, I have no aspiration to be on TV. Even if you just want to get better at how you're positioning yourself and your message, I would use that tip on the Google search and just seeing what people are talking about in your niche. And then for those of you that really know that you want to get featured and you want to be on TV, I would play around with that. And typically, Cornelia, you know, uh, we like to have people think in three quadrants with respect to what their segment ideas are. We either want you to think about seasonal segment ideas 
things that relate to what's coming up because those are easy. If it's already going to be Valentine's Day or spring or summer or whatever the case is, then you know the media is going to do something on it. And so if you can think about what, how does a season relate to your expertise or how does Women's Day relate or how does whatever is happening on the calendar relate, then that's one way that you can put together a strong segment idea. A second way is by thinking about things that are practical. So if you know that people tend to ask you how to manage their money or how to work out if they're too busy or how to do a video if they've never done one before, practical things this is also another good area that television producers like to, to focus on. They like to focus on what are things that just will help their audience. And so that's another kind of segment idea brainstorm that you can do. Or what are some of the practical things that I could go on and talk about? The third is conceptual. And I think a lot of you that are listening, that are watching, you probably have big ideas and big concepts that you know to be true. Some of you, we often work with people who are experts who've been doing what they've been doing for years. And so they have whole methodologies or formulas or processes. And so that might be the conceptual. And so the conceptual might be, I'd like to come on and talk about this concept and how it can help your audience or this process or whatever the case is. So those are the ways to, to really think about your segment ideas and to get to a point where you can create them and strong so that the TV producers will really pay attention to them. Wonderful. You've given us, given us so much on this show today. Mm -hmm. Tell us again how people can get your uh, template, the, the kit that you're offering, the free gift, and also how they can get in contact with you if they want to be seen and be heard globally. Yeah. I mean, it's been such a joy. I first of all, love you. You're one of my favorite people. One of my favorite clients that we've been able to work with just because of your energy. And so I love that. And I, um, I, I would say that those people that know, even if you started listening to this interview and you didn't know, but something's been like pulling at you or resonating with you, I would say go and get our quick start template. Because even if you think you want to be on Ellen 10 years from now, maybe you feel like you're not ready, or if you feel like you're ready to go, that's going to be a good place for you to walk through our process and just have the, the template that you can use and plug and play. So that's our quick start template that's available at moregoodmedia.com. And then if you have seen this interview and you just want to say, hey, I saw you on Cornelia's show, you can always send me a Facebook friend request or Facebook message us and let me know. I love hearing um, you know, that this interview's made a difference for you and, and all of that. So yeah, those are the two ways. Thank you so much, Jackie Cote. Thanks everybody for listening. We'll see you again next time. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Ciao. You've been listening to the Cornelia Stephanie show, Wake Up to Love, your call to action. Tune in each week on Transformation Talk Radio. Cornelia's joy is to engage others in practical ways, showing us how to live in the new earth in harmony with our true nature. For more information on Cornelia and her extraordinary work, or to listen to past shows, go to her website at corneliastephanie.com.